Hi folks, this is Jill at Boomer Tech Adventures and I finally uploaded iOS 14 to my iPad. When I opened my Photos app, I noticed a fairly big change. Let me show you. Now, when I had iOS 13 on my iPad, down at the bottom there was a menu and it said Photos, For You, Albums, and Search, right across the bottom. And that's where I would navigate to what I wanted to see, whether it be my albums or I wanted to search something. But when I open my Photos app in iOS 14, I see that the menu is no longer at the bottom. Rather, as you can see here, it's down the left-hand side of my screen. And as we look at it, you notice that the top is still photos, but there are a number of things under it, including for you, which used to be a major topic, people, places, etc. Also important to see that search is there. And so if you are searching for a picture of a dog or trees or the ocean in your photos, that's where you would go. Now, as I scroll, I see that there are some new categories. Utilities. Well, what's in utilities? Well, there's a little blue arrow here. I'm going to tap it, and I'm pretty sure that's going to open it up. And indeed it does. So that's where any downloads, imports are, any photos that I have hidden that I don't want to share with folks, and anything I've recently deleted. Let's see what else is here. Media types. Well, that used to be under albums. So if I open that up by touching on that little downward facing or the arrow, I see all the different types of media, media type albums that exist on my iPad. So for example, all my videos are grouped together. All my panos are grouped together. All my burst shots are together. Now the software does this automatically and it's really convenient because if I'm looking for a specific video and I have to go through all 3,000 images on my iPad, it takes forever. But I can just come to media types, tap on videos and have a much easier, shorter search. Let's see what else is here. Screen recordings. That's what I'm using right now. I am recording on my iPad screen. That should be another video. Notice that I also have shared albums. Those would be albums that I've shared with other people. And then my albums, those that I have started. And what I wanted to point out is at the very bottom is where you can start a new album. So those are a couple of the things I have discovered so far about the Photos app in iOS 14. Always lots of surprises when there's a big update. So that's it from now. Thanks for stopping by and uh, we'll continue to do these little videos.